at that moment I, I surrendered everything to him. I can remember actually feeling literally picking my son up and handing him to God. 16, almost 17 years ago, uh, we returned home uh, from church. Brian had just been released from jail 10 days prior, and he was struggling. There was the Orange County police that were there and uh, there to tell me, us, that uh, our beautiful son Brian had um, passed away from a heroin overdose. I remember actually thinking that I would never smile again. Day after um, Brian had passed, I received a call from a individual named Ron Brown. I didn't know Ron Brown, and nor did Ron Brown know me. The kindness in his prayer uh, was very, very meaningful to me, and it really affected me to the point um, I was uh, called to step out and go find out what this teen challenge was about. In getting to know the apprentices, I, I saw them as very much like my son Brian, addictions and things, and it was just very, very much similarities, and I found that um, I had something for them, that, uh, that something was um, the same thing I had for my son, and that was love. There was one particular young man there that uh, I just really got to know, and, but he got taken away. Them, uh, they came in with a warrant and took him away. Holy Spirit provoked me and uh, and just encouraged me to just go out and see the guy. And went out to uh, San Bernardino and, and dropped in on him. And uh, after a few times in there, he says, you know, could you go see my celly? And that, and then and then another, and then it, 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 that that all kind of scenario would repeat itself and it started to expand. And so I started trying to help him get into the Teen Challenge program. Well, then it happened. Because I'm just Jim, I'm not there as part of an organization. I'm just this guy, Jim, who, who's there. And, um, it just tends to resonate with them, and there's a, uh, a beginning of a, of a beautiful relationship. But for me, it's uh, God has um, given these to me as almost like children, but not to replace my son, but in addition to him. Jeremiah 29, 11 is one of my life verses, but it's one that I use so often in writing letters and sharing it. God has a plan. He has a beautiful plan, and he's there, he's listening to you. God has showed me so many things, molded me, changed me, just as he does the uh, students that go through the program. And I don't know, you know what God has for me in the future, but uh, it is my plan, as long as it's in his plan, to continue doing this and stay on the course and as, as, as long as he wants me to. Watching the changed lives and the restored lives is, uh, is beyond imagination. Um, and just seeing this is, is all I need to take a step forward and go in tomorrow and do the same thing.